uh, we are extremely happy that uh, we are celebrating our Founders Day today. As part of the celebrations, we are distributing scholarships to meritorious students, students who are economically poor and other deserving students. We are distributing scholarships to the tune of 20 lakhs today. Apart from these scholarships, we are also distributing scholarships for the students who are good in sports or excelled in sports who have contributed themselves in the national, international uh, level and who have brought good name to the society, who have brought good name to the country and to the institution. We have been recognizing them and we are uh, giving the scholarships to them also. At the same time, we have identified people in each of the institution for uh, in one student in each institution for a leadership award and we expect them to lead the nation, lead the country. Tomorrow we give them all the guidance, we give them all the assistance, we give them all the required uh, uh, directions to grow as better leaders for this country. This is the morning program. In the evening we have uh, a CMR Seva Puraskara Award that is being given to one of the uh, uh, person who is uh, going to, who has contributed sufficiently to the cause of uh, the social health, the social uh, uh, activities and all that. This year we are giving the award to see uh, Jagdish of Jag Therapy from MISO. Uh, that's going to be a very unique and important function. And we are also going to have all the teachers who have uh, struggled very hard to make the students come up to a very high level of uh, uh, intellect. And it's the contribution of the teachers that's more important than anything else. So we want to see that our teachers are uh, recognized for the service. We, we recognize the teachers who have put in long years of service, who have put in very efficient service, and we honor them and uh, respect them. Uh, definitely, uh, no, one is uh, motivation. Uh, the students uh, who receive the awards themselves are motivated. Secondly, the other students who watch them say, that's it, uh, next year I should also get this. They get further motivated and they do work hard and uh, maybe they'll academically they'll do better. And the teachers, of course, you know, they feel that their hard work is identified, is recognized, is seen, is appreciated. That itself is more than enough. That, is, that gives a very big uh, a boost to their morale. No, one is, uh, this, uh, who says that education in India is uh, very bad or not good and all that. You must understand that today, uh, in, when you take in the higher education sector, you know, who are all the people who are leading the entire uh, uh, science and technology sector in uh, uh, USA, Europe and other places? Are they not Indians? How did they come? Where did they come from? They have come from the educational institutions in India. Of course, I do agree that there is a need uh, to uh, see that uh, a lot of things are done and a lot of uh, contribution to the education sector from the government is made. Uh, in terms of research, in terms of uh, scientific activities, in terms of labs, and all these things need to be done. But at the same time, what is being done should not be neglected. So not that you know we are all bad, we are all uh, poor, not that uh, education... Why? So in my institutions, there are students who have come from 56 countries. Why do they come in search of education to India? They know that there's something is good here, isn't it? Because they know that uh, the quality of education is good here, the input is good here, that's why they're coming here. Otherwise, they would have gone to some other country. I have 56 country students here from all the uh, things. You know, we can further improve, we can further develop, we can further, uh, you know, make our education system a little more stronger, a little more thing. All that requires a lot of money, a lot of investment from the government side, from the thing. And I feel that the government should uh, go all out and encourage the private sector to come into education and give them all the encouragement because the money uh, which the private sector can invest, the government cannot invest. The government has got other priorities. Government will have to look into drinking water, government will have to look into sanitary, government will have to look into housing. But they cannot spend all the money only on education and these things. They must encourage the private sector, give them the encouragement and then I think uh, there's a lot of things that can be done. No, there's nothing uh, for uh, the students to get uh, you know, disappointed or you know, they need not be uh, pessimistic about uh, the future of their education and that so the future is very, 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 very bright. The opportunities are abundant and all that is required is they must uh, work hard. They must uh, uh, put themselves uh, strongly in that area and see that they do the work. And of course the teachers, they, they, they are the people who, who can guide, they are the people who can uh, you know, inspire, they are the people who can uh, make the students uh, what uh, they dream. And to make their dreams come true, the teachers need to uh, dedicate, rededicate themselves fully into the cause of education. Right. Thank you.